Hey there everybody, Fetman here, and I am back with some more Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander. I love this game. We need more fuel. Yeah, we kind of really do, so once they're back, there we go. Got a lot of dark matter out of that. I'm, you know what, while we're waiting, uh, let's go ahead and send Pandora in this little Federation shuttle just to grab some fuel. Just a, It's just a small mission. Transfer all that fuel. And we'll bring it on home. Nice. All right. Once Lucas gets back, we can start on some other tasks here. Let's expand, expand the fleet. What do we need to do next? Unlock the third officer slot and build a ship for my third officer. So they basically want me to build, or I want to build, the um, new, the new science ship that we got. So... We go to ship management, ship construction, sorry. I gotta remember, this one's for ship management, this one's for construction. Let's see, so uh, next one's gonna be the, the Disciple. I'm actually gonna give that to Lucas, because it's the bigger, better ship. Might as well give it to the, to the guy who's at the top of the food chain. But we need a lot more dark matter for that. How's this thing producing? Okay, can we look at it a little bit closer? Okay, here we are. Uh, current reserves, 10. Woo. Ugh, that's I don't like that at all. All right, we're gonna explore Halcyon some more, I suppose. See what's going on here. We can actually send both Edith and Pandora, I think. No, we can't. But if something happens, we can bring Pandora along to fight. So let's do that. You'll go here, Lucas. How's your health looking? It's still really bad. Can you just use emergency meds on yourself, man? Oh, there's got to be something. Maybe there's something I can research. Personnel tech, Cadet Barracks. No. I don't know what I'm missing for not being able to uh, do that. Anyway. You know what? Let's do not ship construction, not tech research. I want to do hangar research. And we can upgrade that disciple before we even bring it out. So let's start on that. 15 days. Wow. Wow. Well, it's only going to take three days, because Lucas is a badass. <laughs> Alright. Got those going. And we'll see what we get out of it. Alright. Starbase exploration attack runs into territorial aliens living in the ruins of the Starbase. What is that thing? While your crew is clearing the room for construction, a large-shelled Mermodilon. Mermodilon, that's what it is. Mermodon. Armadillo? Mermodilon? Oh, yeah, that sounds right. Burst from one of the corridor wall excuse me, burst from one of the corridor walls with a thunderous roar. And then from the opposing wall, as if in response, your crew detected a series of matching yelps. Seems to have separated the parent parent creature from its nest. We should be able to fight it then. Okay. Juvenile and fledgling grub. So they have gross spikes. Okay. This one, hibernate. So it can hibernate to basically heal itself, it sounds like. We're, we'll find out. Let's bring Pandora, and we're going to bring a cadet. You, you're our lucky cadet today. Deploy the officers. 135, 175. Pandora's health is not where I would want it, but I think since we have the numbers advantage, we should do okay. We can try, by afflict, we can try to afflict them first. Battle stems. Your adrenaline to increase your team's speed. Mm, that sounds good, but I think it might be better to just try to confuse this guy. 100% chance! Ooh, he's vulnerable to confusion. He's vulnerable to psionic attacks. So, in other words, Pandora in general should be really good against this guy. Do it! Yeah! Confuse! That lowers his evasion. He's now porcupine. Making it even deadlier and increasing resistance to physical and beam damage. Okay. Drone takedown is mechanical, though. And it has a good chance to expose them. I probably don't want to punch him. Especially with that ability. Electrical could be good. It has a chance to shock him. Or we could throw up a nano shield. Increasing damage resistance. I don't think we're going to start with that. I think we're going to want to start by exposing him. Or actually, ball lightning has a chance to hit them both. 16 to 26. This does more damage and it can expose him. He wasn't exposed and he resisted it pretty hard. Ooh, a good evasion by our cadet. Let's shock him. Let's shock him. Taser! Yeah, he's shocked too! Decreases his speed. 
Awesome. We are just pounding on this as a guy. Do we have anything that can work on his... Nope. We don't have anything that can work on his current status conditions. But we are taking him down. Inflicts. Exploits. Afflicted. He's not afflicted. Inflicts. Nope. Nothing. Okay. In that case, let's expose him again. Go, drone! Grow spike. Birth spike. Just birth another spike, making him dead. Oh! Oh, so these guys get stronger over time. That's actually kind of cool. That said, they going down. Get him, Pandora! Yeah, use the psychic powers! Oh, that was a good hit, too. Uh... Yeah, we have a 100% chance to hit him, so we should, we should really pound on this guy until he's gone. Now, finish him off with a punch! Yeah! He just punched his lights out. Oh, God! Dang! What the hell was that? That was an insane amount of damage. Luckily, we have psychic surgery, which affects us all. Oh, man, her psychic, psychic powers in this universe are awesome. A little pew pew going on. All right, we can't use the psychic surgery again, so I'm thinking let's try to afflict him. Drop them isotopes. All right, it worked. We can take advantage of afflicted because we have haymaker. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, what was that? You weak piddly little attack. You think you're bad? You ain't bad. You confused. That means you're nothing. We can. Oh, you you're not afflicted again. Well then, let's shock him. Get yeah, that taser. I love, I love the interaction of all these status effects. It's not just like in other games where you inflict the status effect and, you know, it goes on. It has like an obvious by itself, um, you know, negative effect on the enemy, which these do. I mean, the shock decreases their speed, confused, decreases evasion, but then you, it throws on top of that these interactions between them. And that, that's just awesome, I think. Um, can we punch him to death, too? No, it's not going to do enough damage. So, I'm thinking we throw an exposed on top of everything he already has. Yeah, what does that actually do? Decrease damage resistance. Okay, cool. I like it. Inflicts, inflicts. Yeah, we can't really take advantage of anything, but we can take advantage of the fact that he's going to be dead. Psychic attacks for victory. Oh, wow, he just exploded out the back. A little bit of materials, a little bit of dark matter, which I love. Expedition team have taken care of the dangerous creatures and cleared the room. Nice. She still has another day before we're done. Pandora, however, has gotten herself a level up, so we can now take one of these ship abilities out. I'm thinking Nano Restoration. That is an amazing heal. And it works on all allies, too. Yeah, let's get that. That just sounds way too good. That just sounds way too awesome. All right, they're still exploring... And Pandora's just gonna... I'm gonna keep having her hold out for now. One more day and we'll have a couple of things done. Some extra materials. Let's... We don't need to show the location. We know what's there. And that is done researching as well. Awesome. Okay. This guy's coming down our way and I don't like that. I don't like his ships either. Ooh, we need more resources. We need more dark matter, mostly. How much is here now? 25... That's not enough to build, is it? Oh, we need a lot. Oh, man. I guess that means what we need to do is start looking around these other areas. So, let's go ahead and have her head there. No, no, pause, pause, pause. We're, we're gonna send... Uh, yeah, let's send Lucas, since he's ready to go. Okay, Dark Matter Extractor appears to be offline. I'm not reading any Terran life signs. There's, however, something moving around in the storage bays. Hmm. We can send an away team to retrieve it and bring it back, but whatever destroyed the reactor is still in there. Let's wait. I'm going to bring more people. I don't feel comfortable just sending her alone for that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I want to see what this uh, enemy fleet is doing first. Where are you going? Okay. So... So, he's at this, they're at this facility. Let's bring you home, and then we're going to send everyone over here to defend. All right. Lucas, Edith, and... Oh, no, I'm not going to send the Federation. I can't! Oh, man, they have such a huge fleet here! 
Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. I don't think I could do anything about that. Okay, instead, let's send everyone here. At least then we get more dark matter and hopefully we'll be able to build that bigger ship. <sighs> All right. Beam to the extractor. Juvenile Churl Spiker is what we got here. And these are our officers. These are who we took. Uh, your officers are not fully healed. Heal them. Apparently it costs dark matter. And you can do that before the battle, which is very good to know. Hmm. I mean, we needed the dark matter, but it's better to not have uh, Lucas almost dead. All right. So we can go ahead and inflict some afflicted, I think, on this guy. For some reason, it's not letting us look at his stats. I don't like that. Mm, he resisted, resisted, yeah, resisted the ability. For some reason, I just have a hard time talking lately. Can we get that? Uh, can we get that confusion on him though? That minus hundred uh, percent evasion is just too good. I don't know what that was. Rabbit. Ooh, voracious improved damage, but reduced damage. Oh, oh, we can take advantage of that then. We can't take advantage of the confused, but we can throw down some more some more vulnerabilities on him. So yeah, throwing down that shock to reduce the speed will give us more turns. And now we can exploit that with invasive surgery. That'll take him out. Oh yeah, we're just gonna take a quick look at your innards here. Mr. Churl, hope you're okay with that. Thank you for the resources. 51 cases of dark matter. Okay, yes, we should return to the star base immediately. And we got an up... Ooh, Edith got a level up. That's awesome. Bring them back home. Level up, Edith. We're going to give us now... Mm, broadside Salvo. I like the sound of it. It will probably make us vulnerable, but if, they, if we can inflict hull breaches, it could be worth it. Oh, we really need more uh, resources. We really do. I want to help Deneb. I really, really want to help Deneb. I just don't know how. I mean, that little ship's not going to be able to do anything. <sighs> it only has 115 health. Pretty sure their strongest ships are better than that. Wait, do we get resources if we scrap this? They won't tell us, so I'm not going to assume we do. Yeah, that's... We can't take it on! All those poor bastards! Okay, what are we gonna do? We could improve our learning habit. We could train another officer. That might be good, because that'll, that'll let us have someone who can explore outside the base. So let's have Edith train an officer. Let's do... No, no, no. We don't want to do this because we, we want to save our dark matter. <sighs> Could explore. Yeah, I guess we're going to explore a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, let's have Lucas... Cries the commander trait. Oh. Oh. Well then. Maybe it's because of how far out it is? That might be it. Yeah, because this one only requires Lieutenant Commander. Alright. Oh. Well, dang! Yeah, I guess I can't explore right now either. <laughs> dang it! Ah, oh, Lieutenant. This one only requires Lieutenant, so we can explore there. Uh, we can't explore the other one, but, and we're going to wait on anything else. So, what do we have going on right now? We are training an officer, and we're exploring that room. Okay. Found something disturbing. Ooh. Come across a grizzly sight. A previously undiscovered amorphous molluscoid with large incisions across its exposed hindquarters. A leecher. Let's let's hunt them down. We know. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay, they're juvenile. I, these are not the ones we fought before. Ooh, boy. Pandora, you're coming along, and one of these cadets is coming along. You have a drone attack move. Okay, we'll try it. How are they on health? 120 each. Okay, which one's moving first? The one in the middle? We could try to... Well, we can't really do anything to them. I'm thinking we're going to start with Iridate. Oh, we could try to confuse them both. Yeah, let's get that evasion down. 
Damn it, they both resisted. No, psychic space fever. Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. Okay, well, this has a much higher chance to get a confusion off, so let's do that. That one, top one's moving next, so. Come on. If we get a confusion, yes, if we can confuse them and get that 100% evasion, we can just keep pounding on the same guy. Maybe we can expose him, too. We did. All right, Lucas. You can exploit shock, but not expose. So this for some affliction on top of everything else. Darn it. They do not like that affliction. They resist. Ooh, they resist psionic. That's not good. Hmm. And they're resistant to, or they are weak against let's try this they're weak against mechanical attacks darn it you afflicted the wrong one no ah is this cadet worth saving oh my god he has so many things on him oh my god he has so many negative effects we gotta try to kill him critical no no cadet Oh no! Um, psychic surgery heals us, heals us all, so let's do that. Yes. Because it healed us all at the same time, I think that made it worth it. He's still confused. Finish him! Yeah! Take that, slug! Leecher, whatever. Oh, they're juvenile soldiers. That's why they're bigger and stronger. That makes sense. Confuse him! Oh, I love the psychic. No! I don't like the resist. Oh my god. He was put into... Wow! He was put in a critical condition just by his bleeding. Bloody sting. That's reduced damage. Um... Yeah, let's, let's try to keep... Let's try to keep this cadet alive. Usually we just let the cadets go away. They're green shirts, apparently. Not red shirts. Big thing to note. Green shirts in this universe mean that they are the ones that can be wasted. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna try to keep this one alive. Afflict him. Afflict him good. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Come on, don't let the fever get to you, man. You could do this. Mechanically, he's weak against mechanical attacks. Do it. Oh, cadet, you almost did it. By yourself. That's okay. Pandora's got this. Psychic attacks of doom. I love it. Bye bye. Nice. Success, Commander. Not only did our exploration forces rid this location of leecher aliens, but they were even able to secure the portal from which the molluscoid must have arrived. Oh, nice. Gave us some extra dark matter. That's awesome. Oh, that is so good. And Lucas got a level up. Now he can uh, warp atomic structure. I like the crew panic. I like the ones that lower of evasion. So let's get that warp atomic structure. Oh, that's good. This is not good. Hmm. Wait a minute. What are these notifications? Uh, that was a while ago. And these distress signals. We don't need the promotion ones. Oh, poor Deneb. Poor Deneb. I can't do anything for you. Okay, the room's explored. Got some materials. Let's wait until we get our new officer. Okay. Oh, a situation. Students at the academy managed to get their hands on one of the top secret Federation officer teacher's manual and are horrified at the actual survival statistics of most first year officers. This led to a crisis in morale. Uh, we could cull out the whiners, or we could fund an immediate rewrite of the... Hmm. So we can lie, or we can get rid of the whiners. I feel like we are in a... You know, we're in a military situation. These officers need to be able to realize that they could die. Because they can. Uh, yeah, I feel like lying to them is not the way to go. Let's get rid of the whiners. Figuring that any students willing to read off limits materials to lack the discipline necessary for the position. Because certain students reassign to less key positions. Uh, that costs us some fuel. Oh, that stinks. Oh, maybe I did the wrong one? Ugh. Anyway, we should have a new officer soon. That'll be good. We need to pick up some more dark matter, like, very, very soon. Alright. 
we're going to spend three fuel to get a lot more than three fuel. Go ahead. Okay. Officer Academy has completed its task. Let's see our new officer. We got Margot Buk uh, Bukowitz, Ariam Rog Rovigadi, and Ramsey Coburn. Supercharged polarity, death from above. Ooh. Oh, it has a chance of reaching our hull, but also disables their ships and exploits crew panics. That sounds good. Orbitomic structure, spin maneuver, nano field. Let's get a tactical officer. Let's get Margot. Weapon supercharged, dimensional flashbang, fire at will. Sounds good. Yeah. Born into the infamous fourth millennium cult, compounded on Praxis uh, 3. Margot was rescued by the Federation at age 6. Long deprogrammed by the best counselors. She still, deep down, believes she might be the second coming of Gornar. Liberator of the stars, son of Narbab, slayer of interstitial void. Not that she would ever tell anyone. Crazy as hell, but let's bring you aboard. <laughs> Alright. We have a new officer. I don't want anything else here yet. I do want to go to our ship construction. Could I build the rogue? Oh, I'm short for the rogue, too. I could build another knight, but I don't need the knight. Mm. All right. For now, let's let's send our new one, Margot, out to do some tactical exploration. Okay. Transfer this fuel. That's actually... We spent three fuel, got 39. That's definitely worth it. Another rogue coming this way. So... How much longer before that's done? Two days? All right. Let's go ahead and bring... Not that, not the little one. Let's bring our Acolyte and our Knight out to protect us. Raider Fleet is bombarding us. Well, no, they're not. Because we don't want any crew death. They're, they have one crew death, not debt. No, they have three. Okay. Including one that's not human. Actually, these might not be human, too. I'm not 100% sure. These are all Shiv Mark 1s. We should be able to, to destroy them with no problem. Let's start by... This can exploit hull breaches. So, I kind of want to start by disrupting their weapons. Which does huge damage to them. Devastating, says Lucas. And he's right. That was amazing. Super powerful. And now, we're going to get some hull breaches going on. Let's start with this guy. He has most health. Somehow you ended up healthy. Ooh. That's not good. This is frankly unreasonable. Understandable. Underestimated. Underpowerful. Under good. Not greatly awesome for us. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh. No more spray and praise. Stop it. Stop it. All of you must stop it. Let's try this again. I want the hull breach, man. Do it. Yes. Okay. And now we can exploit that with Lucas. Good evasion, by the way. Yes. Warp atomic structure. Do them in. Oh, yeah. Get warped. Oh, and they're panicked. Nice. We should be able to take him out with any uh, AoE attack at this point. And I'm thinking Lucas might have... Oh, yeah. Check this out. He says as he gets ready for a counterattack. Even the sensors might take him out. Yeah, I think that's the one we should do. Even if it doesn't take them out, it does take out their sensors. <clears throat> Left them with two health. Critical hit on the other two, though. And we don't have... Mm. Okay. I don't like the fact that we didn't have anything else going on there, but... You know what? Let's get rid of them. Let's do it with a regular flak barrage, though. Because that just takes out more damage that could be coming our way. All right. At least this one has its sensors down. Maybe we can evade. Yeah! Good job, Lucas. Let's warp their atomic structure, or... Hmm. Yeah, they don't have a hull breach or anything. So let's do that. Very nice. Ooh, they tried to resist it. But they're gonna get a broadside salvo right in their face! Oh, yeah! Look at that! Now that's damage. Now we're vulnerable. Minus 20% damage resistance. Because we show our broadside to the enemy. That makes sense. I don't like it, obviously, but it makes sense. There's no way they'll hit me like that again. I don't think that... Yeah, that doesn't take advantage of anything, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, everything's down except for our portal cannon. Or cauterized hull. Yeah, let's do that. They can't do nearly enough damage to us to make that not worth it. 
Even with a critical, I don't think. And we got a free heal, basically. Disable the ship. Got it. All right. And with that, warp atomic structure. That might, that might do them. Oh yeah, just warping them all over the place, making them look like nuts. We could finish them off with a nice spin, yeah. Spin to win! Down they go. Get out. Victory! Get some more dark matter out of that. Are we at 600? So close. I need a new ship! Okay. So, in that case... This is definitely worth eight fuel. Get your Federation shuttle out there. Ooh. New Federation... New reputation gained. Edith Clarkson has a new crew member! Cadet Sun! Oh! That's cool! That is, like, really cool! So if I go to the ship at Fleet Command, select this... Yeah! Oh, that is neat! I love it! And, of course, the science ship has this. Oh! Does that count for... So they both have Cadet Sun. Okay. That is really cool. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to get this dark... Ooh. This dark matter before I do anything else. Uh, there's a new distress signal out there. Where is that? Pavo. Okay, they still look pretty tough. I really want to get that new ship so I can take them out. What is this? Gecko Mark 1. I cannot even. Looking at them, I might be able to take them out. But anyway, return home. I think they're just going to want to talk. A yabbling fleet in the sector. They're requesting an audience. Whoa, nice station. Federation bigwigs never let us get this close to it before. But I suppose we'll be spending a lot more time here now that you are our primary contact with the Federation. What? Really? What do you mean? Well, following what looks to be a devastating apocalyptic event with the Federation environs, which you've surely noticed, you are, according to our research, now the ranking Federation officer. What? Congratulations! <laughs> I'm sure you've done something to earn it! No. Now I'm sure you've got some important federationing to do. But we thought we'd come say hi. I like the, I like these guys. The yabblings. <laughs> How polite of you. Anything for our federation friends. I know we've had our differences. But now that your galactic presence has been reduced, I think we can start having an eat more even-handed relationship. Speaking of, let's get down to business. Great job finding and securing this priest cursor alien station in the middle of this glass gas cloud. Our records suggest we did many sweeps in this area, at least a hundred yabs before you did. We didn't find anything like this. Still, intergalactic regulations say finders keepers, more or less. But let's stop tiptoeing around this. How much do you want for the station? That what? Come on, name your price. Dark matter, materials, rare space fauna? Uh, the star base is definitely not for sale. Well, I don't think you're making a prudent choice here. Ancient superstructures never hold their value. You're looking at a perfect time to sail, my friend. <laughs> what do they even want it for? Yablings live in swamps, don't they? Oh, we don't want to keep it. We'd most definitely try to flip it to someone else. Yeah, okay, we're done here. Okay, well, we tried. I hope this whole resisting this oncoming extinction event thing works out for you. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, we're, we, we are not we are not doing well. Mm. Okay, we cleared out that area with no problems. It looks like our tactical officer did her job well. Okay. Now we can go to ship construction and build ourselves a... <laughs> so close! Oh. Alright. We can get a dark matter manipulator. Yeah... I'm gonna build it down here, but I do, let's go ahead and build it. It'll take three days, but I think it will probably be worth it. Um, improved learning habits. Yeah, let's do that. Lucas, go ahead and... Ooh, eight days? That's a long time for him to be out of commission, so let's not do that. You know, we know what's here. So let's send... Let's send Edith. 
as our primary officer to go here. 11 days? Holy cow. Just because we know there's a hive there? Uh, Commander... Oh, jeez. That's not good. So, this one's been destroyed as well. Can... Is it possible to send, like, a new fleet there? Or, like, a new civilization? Uh, Dark Matter Manipulator is now online. That is awesome. Can we do anything with this area? Doesn't look like it. That's not good. That's not good at all. Hmm. And they're going to destroy this one soon, too. Should I extract them? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Hurry up. Get your shuttle over there. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get this built and save them. Transfer the dark matter. Leave the system. Come back home. Please go fast. Okay, dark matter is here. Ship construction. Disciple. Yes, we can afford it. Build it. Wait, you have, we have no available officers? Why? Oh, you know, I, it's probably because Lucas isn't, uh, Lucas is on another ship right now. That's probably why. Okay. Disciple and Leisure Hive will be done at about the same time. Eradication team has found them. It's just these little ones. This should be easy peasy for us now. Send out Lucas and... Eh. Let's send out Margot. Let her do uh, her own first battle here. We'll see what this uh, triple threat does for us. Not exactly sure what's happening here. Ooh, wow. That was a hard hit. Okay. Let's start by trying to confuse them. Oh, yes. The double confusion. Ooh, she's getting hit hard. But now she gets a chance to move. Slice and dice inflicts bleeding. Exploits confusion with a point-blank shot. Well, dang, I think that pretty much says what we should do all by itself. Do it! Oh, yeah. Nice hit. We don't have anything else that can exploit confusion on her, but we might be able to punch him to death. Oh, yeah! Gotcha. Easy peasy. A lot easier when you have more officers than cadets. Okay, can we inflict an affliction? Do it! Yes! Minus 25% damage! What do you want to do? You're going to do nothing, because we evaded it. What else can we exploit here? There's a lot of inflict bleeding going on here. Looks like we can't exploit anything else. Let's do a slice and dice. Do it! Oh yeah, look at that bleed. Oh, oh yeah. And a punch, because we take advantage of Afflicted. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Thank you for the dark matter. Now we can construct here. All right. Don't want to do that right this second, though. Margot has leveled up. So let's grab Fire at Will. I kind of just want to see what that does. Anyway, ship's almost done. There, done. New Disciple Class ship. So, I want to put Lucas on this one. So, he's upgraded to the, to the Disciple. Which I think is going to be really good for us. The Acolyte is now going to be under Pandora's command. And our little Federation shuttle is going to be on Margo's command for now. That should be really nice. Let's go ahead and repair our ships here. And this one doesn't need repairs because it's brand new. Okay. I was thinking of saving it for the next episode, but I want to fight. I want to. I want to do this. I want this to happen. All right, team. Go take them out. We need to grab fuel here because this place is full of fuel. So we're gonna have you do that. All right, transfer the fuel. Leave the system. Come on home. All right. And we're going to send you here as well. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Spike. He has Spike. 
40 to 70 damage. Okay, quick moving vessel. The aberrant brood pods, which can heal, and chaos cannons. Ah, vulnerable to hull and hull breaches. Okay. With the spike, what is he vulnerable to? Hull and hull breaches. Okay, good. So whatever we can do to breach their hulls would be our good way to go. Look at all these new weapons. Fun, fun, fun. We do want to try to inflict crew panic, I think. So let's go ahead and do that right away. Um, let's take out the weaker ones first. Disruptor beam, quick, fast attack. I like it. Man, we really need to do some hull breaches because almost all of our atta science attacks can exploit those. Those are pretty weak attacks. They do breach our hull, unfortunately. Okay. Hull breach, 95% chance. <clears throat> if we get this hit, we did not. I was going to say, if we get this hit, you should be gone for good. There we go. We panicked them. That's a good start. That means every other hit on them should be guaranteed. What is this aberrant doing? He has no turns. Oh, there he goes. Oh, because it's showing the commander's face. My bad. All right. That makes sense. Uh, you know what? We have a moment here. Let's throw down some adaptive armor. There we go. Give us some healing over time. And it reinforces our hull. All right. With that done... We can try to take him out with a portal cannon. Got him! Get out of here! Out of my house! Alright, now our big old knight is going to try to breach. Is he vulnerable to hull breaches too? Yeah, he is. Yeah, let's breach this suckers hull. Let's get the big guy out. Nice. Alright, his hull is breached. We can take huge advantage of this. One with our warp atomic structure, huge damage, and it might even confuse the crew. Panic the crew, whatever. Yeah! Oh, when it oh, when you exploit it, it goes away. That's not bad. That's not terrible, at least. And then we could just uh, deconstruct them again. Start this process all over. That deconstruct has uh, like a 90% chance of hull breach. I think it was like 95. So I feel like it's a great move. Oh boy. Let's throw down a spin maneuver. There we go. We hit one of them. I won't be missing next time, you jerk. Ooh, this is not good. What is with these misses? Yeah, shame. For shame. Oh boy. We are having some problems downstairs with uh, Lucas. Right, let's disable the ship. Oh, we're not. Oh, boy. Um, Nanofield Restoration, yes. Luckily, we have some amazing heals on our side. Who's moves next? You? Yeah, we have some really good heals, and I'm feeling really lucky about that right now. Take advantage. Warp Atomic Structure. Okay. <clears throat> Pandora, you're fine. You, you're, you're gonna be okay. Let's give him the broadside. You're not even being attacked, Edith. So, if they want you to go all out, which is kind of what I'm seeing here, let's do it. Nice. Can we finish him? Oh, there's a chance. This the incisor beam's a little bit stronger. Do it. Come on, Lucas. Oh, so close. Okay, they're finally going after Edith. Okay. Portal, finish him. Awesome. Lucas was... Oh, man, he got torn down quite a bit. I kind of want to just do damage. And I want some adaptive armor to go up here. Okay. Okay. At least we're saving the colony. Even with a crit, I don't think that could do too much damage to us. Let's cauterize this hull, too. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm feeling a hell of a lot safer. Panic his crew! Disrupt them! Breach them! 
Oh yeah, you are so, so effed up right now. Let's get out of here. Whew. Okay, we saved, we saved our first colony. Feels good. Look at all that dark matter. Wow. They only generate two crew a day. Well, let's take the crew. Pandora got upgraded. Or up got a level up. Okay, we don't need her. We don't need her. And we got a cadet! Nice! Alright! Cadet tie! Plus two percent to haul. Nice. Awesome, awesome. And Pandora got upgraded. Let's give her hmm, warp atomic structure. Lucas has that, and it is good. Oh, a blade of field's too good though. That's the one that does the heal and everything. That is, like, amazing. So I definitely want that. What else do we have to acknowledge here? Survivors detected on Pavonis. Okay. Good to know. New Terran Federation. Oh, that's that's our area. Duh. <laughs> All right, guys. Wow, that's another episode of Halcyon 6. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys are enjoying it, let me know. Leave a like. Tell me you're enjoying it, helps me out, lets me know to keep playing. And I want to keep playing because this game is awesome. Also, let me know if you notice anything else that I'm doing that's kind of weird or wacky and not working. I got plenty of fuel, so maybe I need to think about that and see what I can do regarding that fuel. And maybe even start going after some pirates, but I'm not sure yet. Anyway, guys, once again, thank you for watching. I'm the Thet Man. This is Halcyon 6, and I'll see you next time.